What is up everybody? This is Atticus, a death meddler, and for this video, it's going to be a pretty serious video that we're going to be talking about. And with me is a very special guest, whom is one of my favorite superheroes amongst the ranting community, The Frost Reviews. Hey, what's up? And by the way, you are my Robin. I'm going to start dressing you up in tight spandex and putting you in dangerous situations, so deal with it. Oh, bye! <laughs> That's it. You're sitting in the Batmobile. But in all seriousness, uh, this is a pretty fucking serious topic that we're going to be, like, talking about right now. So, this video, I was going to be addressing this, like, a while back onto her most controversial video. But yes, this video revolves around Nicole Arbor. Now, who is Nicole Arbor? She's basically one of those, really, she describes herself as one of those hot ass comedians and she's got a lot of heat over her video dear fat people which i was gonna make a video on but i just saw no point to it and with the recent shit that is going on involving her ex-boyfriend matt santoro holy fucking shit this is jesus i i feel sorry for the motherfucker not nicole but matt on matt's case i mean good god and i will take it and I will let you take it from here, Frost. All right. So here's the skinny. All right. So Matt made a video about addressing a domestic abuse situation that he encountered recently. Didn't mention the person's name. Withheld personal information as to who this person was. And a lot of people immediately shit on him saying that, oh, well, he's just a pussy because he let a girl slap him around. <laughs> I made just a quick video giving my thoughts about it on the, uh, you know, it's really stupid how a lot of people, and especially our culture, will accept that women are supposed to be the abusers and just, uh, I mean, allow women to be the uh, abused ones, and men just aren't ever supposed to be abused, and I thought that was fucked up, so I made a video on that, and then Dracula herself decided to make a video response, completely uh, negating everything that Matt tried to say, trying to discredit him, trying to say that he was lying. And my favorite part of this whole thing was when she, in the beginning, she was showing these random clips of them together in, like, vlog footage, and she had to cherry-pick every single moment to try to shine herself into this, like, goody-two-shoes light to say, oh, look, Matt's lying. He was not unhappy at all. Look, let me show you this subjective moment from our relationship. The entire thing is so fucking sketchy. And the thing that really puts everything into perspective is when in the beginning of her video, instead of just addressing the points at hand in a serious fashion as she should have, she brought up the fact that she was an actress. So I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. If you're going to say that you're an actress, how can I take anything you've said seriously? Because not only has she lied before, if you have uh, <clears throat> if you want to link the Great Under A video, where he pretty much exposed the fact that she lied about her being in a car accident, which really takes everything into account can we really trust anything she says because at this point <clears throat> other people of matt's uh friendship circle have come forward and said yeah she is an abusive piece of shit true man true and just this totally reminds me of like over my uncle's first marriage and i've told you about this before and you were just absolutely shocked over this uh, I'm not going to say my former aunt's name because I don't want to go down that route. But in truth, if she's watching this, you know who I'm, you, you know who I'm talking about. You especially. And like before I go with this, if you're watching this, you're dead to me to what you did to my uncle. Because she did, she manipulated my three adopted cousins who were adopted from Poland from two alcoholic birth parents she basically, like, you know, I do, I did know that their marriage was rocky, but from what my grandmother told me, like, after their divorce, was just absolutely atrocious, and I almost, like, punched a hole in the fucking wall, 
because like what she told my cousins was that oh yeah your your adopted father doesn't love you just as much as your alcoholic birth parents treated you i was like motherfucking bitch i i mean i had very fond memories of this woman and yet she treated my uncle like a complete fucking abusive piece of shit I mean, I'm sorry, this this really fucking rallies me up. It really does rally me up, but my uncle would never do some, any of that shit to my cousins. Though, imp they have improved with their relationship together, he's got a new wife whom is really awesome and really down to earth, and you know, um, I miss one of my cousins, though she's excluded from the family, but she does talk to me time and time, but just... This is what happens when you don't look at both sides of the spectrum over here. Am I right? Like I was saying, it's more socially acceptable now for women to be the ones who are being abused as opposed to men, which is fucked up in itself. But I've been noticing a stream of people that are, are already trying to discredit Matt. They're either fans of Nicole because they're saying, oh, well, Matt's just lying to try to slander her career. Now, what does Matt have to gain from not only not mentioning the person's name, but not saying what exactly the entire situation is. We know small tidbits of it, but there could be more shit she's done that hasn't been brought to the surface. And another thing I noticed that a few people uh, saw in her video is the lack of emotion that she showed throughout the entire thing. She was being so passe about it. Just like, oh, yeah, whatever, this guy that I dated that I slapped the shit out of and emotionally manipulated made a video crying, and so I'm going to give a half-assed response to it. And it was completely stupid. And the entire thing is so fucked up because not only is... Uh, her lack of emotion, something that should be put into question, but it's just the entire thing of how she handled it. She's just like, oh, just, yeah, what, whatever, okay, fine. But um, one thing I did also notice, too, is throughout her entire video, she likes to try to not name drop, but she name dropped him several times in a vlog before that was re-uploaded, like, some, crying her eyes out, wanting Matt back or something like that. And I'm just like, seriously? You want to try to act like you're the victim in this situation? I mean, like, seriously, get a fucking grip. But when you find that person that just, just makes you know that life's about more, that you can just like connect with instantly. I don't think you're supposed to like go of that for work. I think, I think we made a mistake. And I think, Matt, if you're watching this, and I know you're going to, because I'm going to send it to you. I'm sorry, and I made a big mistake, and I think that we've made a mistake here. But she's a woman. She's a woman. So we got to go to her side, Frost. I mean, we do realize, you do know that women get abused more than men do. The statistics show. <laughs> but, like, in all seriousness, like, I mean, both genders do get abused. I mean, my professor, whom is a feminist herself, she does know that men get abused. But the statistics are just very small over this. She made a, uh... PSA on the Betty Griffith house and where she basically did a kick-ass job and it was just absolutely just sad. If I could find it, I'll put it down in the description below over there. But just, this whole entire thing is just absolutely shady and fucked up. Another thing that I noticed that she's doing damage control to try to save her career because like you were saying, the Dear Fat People controversy is still surrounding her. And this is her just trying to clamor, uh, trying to extinguish the fire, so to speak. Just like try to rally as some kind of, oh no, this didn't happen. Because she wants to save whatever is left of her career, I think. Because that seems to be the most logical thing that she's doing. Instead of actually giving a heartfelt response and admitting to what she did, she pretty much backpedaled throughout the entire video. Yeah, the jig is up. And uh, I think we've said a lot over here. Any uh, final words on to Nicole Arbor and Matt Santoro? Uh, Matt seems to be doing at least a little better, but fuck Nicole for everything she stands for. I mean, like, 
I don't know her personally, but she just seems to be an emotional Dracula. And uh, my thoughts, especially Nicole, you can go fuck yourself. You you say that you were you know you made your video on dear feminism, but yet you're doing the exact fucking opposite in what feminism stands for. And Matt, if you're watching this, I just want to fucking hug you, man. I just want to hug you. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I watched your video and I almost cried, like right there, because as a um, nephew who has an uncle who has been a, a victim of domestic abuse, emotional and domestic abuse, I feel you, man. I feel you, and we're with you 100%. Without further ado, I am Atticus, the Death Meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the Frost Review. He is an awesome motherfucker. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day.